Hello, hello and welcome back. As you can see, it's very cold outside. I'm wearing some autumnal attire. Um, and today is Get the Mattress to Bramble Day. Um, it's a bit of a mission because I don't think I'll get there on the battery life that I've got on my trike. So I'm going to try and call a black cab and stuff it in there. We've arrived at my work garage. Um, I'm here with the mattress. Hello, mattress. Um, and the plan is to order a black cab, see if we can get it in there, and then I'm going to try and get as close to the canal where Bramble is as possible. It's not far from the Lee Rowing Club near Springfield Marina, um, but I think I'm going to have a bit of walking to do because the roads don't go right next to it. I'm now walking through Springfield Park, trying to find the footbridge that takes me across the canal to where Bramble is. I'm taking a quick break because it does get pretty heavy on the arms, shoulders and neck. We're approaching the bridge, I'm not sure which one it's called, but uh, it's before Lee Rowing Club and Springfield Marina. Uh, as you can see, I've got a double mattress on my head, uh, much to the amusement of a lot of park goers this morning. It does limit my vision somewhat. <sighs> oh, what a lovely morning. It's nice and still. Ramble somewhere this way. Hopefully not too far. Wow. That is some solar setup. Amazing. I don't think I've ever been so happy to see Bramble. Oh, thank God. Oh, hello, Bramble. So as you can see, that's not the smallest thing to carry around. Um, yeah, quite heavy actually. And I didn't walk too far. I'm not so sure that I will need a fire now. Um, I'm so warmed up after carrying that around. So uh, I'm gonna get it in and lay it on the bed. <laughs> She's in. <laughs> Right, so I'm now going to start moving the cushions and pulling out the bed and then laying the double mattress on and trying to measure up somehow and figuring it all out. But later on also I need to suss out Daubney Park uh, footbridge because I need to moor near there in the next few days. Um, my engine service is coming up quickly so I'm really hoping to find a spot down there It's a little bit cramped doing all of this stuff because I still have all the old material. <sighs> so there we have it. The mattress material, the foam itself is in really good condition and it's like memory foam. Thank you so much Lorraine for the mattress. So I've just measured out a rough line um, that is slightly wider than the bed to accommodate any mistakes. Okay, we have a roughly cut mattress. I hope this works. Yes, it seems to have worked ish. Yeah, I'm very happy with this mattress, it's comfortable. Really nice. 
can't see all the slats at all. There'll be a, a line across the top where the solid section stays as it is. There'll be a line here. This will come off and be the backrest and that will also be a permanent fixture. This will be the end of this video. I've decided to split it into two uh, so that it's not too long and boring. Um, so that's it for this episode. But in the next episode, which should be up shortly, um, you'll see me moving from the spot I was in to where I am now, uh, ready for the engineer service because it's right near parking spaces. So um, yeah, see you in the next episode.